welcome to D4 Drupal channel. In previous video, we saw about how to create a block form and, and how to configure it and how to make it display in the front end, right? So in this video, we are going to see about how to add a dependency injection to your block file. So in your block plugin, when you want to add any service containers, so let's see how to do the service container inside the block file, okay? So let's move to your file. So this is what the file which we created already. So what I'm going to do is that today what I'm going to do, uh, we are printing hello, welcome to D4 Drupal channel, right? In that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mention it with the logged in username, okay? So let's do how to, how to do it, okay? So first, so for that, what we need is that we need a, a account variable. So let's declare it, it's a variable of account interface. So we already added uh, account interface namespace, so no need to add it now. Dollar account. After that, what we have to do, we have to create a constructor function. So for constructor, we need to add a comment like param. So first one is array dollar configuration and this is a variable for your parent class so next one is plugin id and the plugin id is a string string dollar plugin id and next one is a mixed mixed and which is the plugin definition plugin Definition. Shim. Shim. And next one is uh, the variable which we are going to do, which is the account interface variable. So let's copy this uh, namespace. And paste it. And it is dollar account, okay, which we already declared. And once you did it, so next, what you have to do, you need to define a constructor function. Okay, public function underscore construct open. You need to pass all the value. First one is array dollar configuration. And next one is uh, dollar plugin ID. And next one is dollar plugin definition. So plugin definition. And next one is account interface variable dollar account. Okay. So we added successfully and we have to pass the parent argument to the parent class. Okay. So we need to do parent colon colon underscore construct open. And you have to pass the first three arguments configuration, comma, dollar plugin. I sorry, it's ID plugin ID and dollar plugin definition. Okay, we passed the parent arguments. After that, what we are going to do, we are going to define a value for the account. So, account dollar account. So we define a value. So we are uh, we assign value for an account variable, but we didn't pass any service container here, right? We just assign the value. So uh, this this file doesn't know where it has to take the account variable container. Okay, for that, what you have to do? You have to mention a container inside your file. Okay. So before uh, including container in your block plugin file. You need to do one more thing is that you need to implement one interface to do that. Okay. So implements, which is container factory plugin interface. So it's container factory plugin interface dot So let's take a namespace from here. So the namespace is here. So copy it. 
made it here use of this in the class name and the interface name sorry so copy the interface name and paste it there and add it here so we successfully implemented the container factory so next what we have to do we need to pass the account argument to your constructor right so for that what you have to do you need to create a function called create so uh, let's create it so create function is a parent function so you can use inherit as a dog inherit dog so after that it's a static function so you need to mention public static function create open in that you need to pass first argument as a container interface so container interface is going to initialize your service container okay so it's container interface so the variable will be con we need to include the namespace for the container interface container and next one is the these three arguments let's copy paste okay so once you copy paste it you have to define a variable for your account okay so for that you need to pass a argument here so whatever the value you are passing here those will be moved to your constructor and variable will be allocated for your okay so for that you need to return variables static keyword so in that what you have to do you need to mention dollar configuration and next what it is it's a plugin id plugin id and next is dollar plugin definition and next is a container so container is going to initialize your service right so for that what you have to do dollar container stands to get off the service name it's a current user okay so let's save it so we forget to add the container interface namespace let's add it so this is the namespace for the container interface let's add it there please the container interface will copy from here okay so copy the container interface okay so it has one other let's see what it is one problem in this file Here it has okay. We didn't mention semicolon. Okay, so uh, we created our account variable here. So next, what we are going to do? We are going to add the account name here. So for that, what you have to do? You have to concatenate dollar distance to account variable. It's account variable account stands to get account name so current logged in user account name okay so hello the logged in user is admin hello admin welcome to default Drupal. okay that's what we are going to do now so let's add space here so once you're done you have to go here and uh, refresh i think we need to throwing error couldn't check compatibility Simple. Container interface is not available. Where no, is container interface, right? Okay, we didn't add we didn't add slash. Okay. So now the uh, let's reload it now. So let's clear the catch and check. So again, it's throwing error. So we'll be using more. 
ketaponin amran okay okay so we are captain p and let's see now so it's still throwing the error okay here i added only one underscore let's add one more and here too it should be two and now reload here okay now you can see the uh, hello admin welcome to d4 google chat this is how we need to include a service container inside your block plugin. Okay. So that's it about today's session. And uh, my is Saranya. And you can uh, find my information here. Um, if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.